For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the corbel and its direction theta measure counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So basically we're going to break down all the forces into x and y components and what we do, we're going to add them all together and get the Cartesian vector form of the resultant force. And once we get the Cartesian vector form, we're going to convert it to polar, which the polar gives us uh, implicitly the magnitude and the uh, angle theta. So, we got F1. F1 has an X component and a Y component. The X component of F1 is this component right here. And the Y component is this component right here. So basically you do 700 times the cosine of 30 and it's going negative because it's going towards uh, the left. And that is equal to negative 6, so 6.2. And the Y is 700 sine of 30 and it's going down, so it's negative. And that gives us negative 350. So the Cartesian vector form is negative 606.2i minus 350j. F2 is very easy, you don't really need, uh, the x is 0 because it's going straight down, it's not going left or right. And the y is negative 400 because it's going 400 straight down. F3 is this force right here and this force right here and that is uh, this let me write it here it has an x component and a y component now the x component which is this one is given by 600 times 3 over 5 times 3 over 5 and the is going positive and the uh, y is going negative and it's 600 times 4 over 5 and once you calculate this you get that this is equal to 360 and this is equal to negative 480 so this is 360i minus 480j so this is f3 this is F2 and this is F1. The resultant force is given by adding the three vectors, which means that you add the x with the x and the y's with the y's. And once you do, you're going to get that the resultant force is equal to negative 246.2 minus 12.30 so the resultant force is going to be there and down a lot so this is going to be the resultant force I always like to draw it so you get a visual but this is the Cartesian vector form of the resultant force this is in the i and this is in the j this is the Cartesian vector form of the resultant force. What they want is the polar form, which has the magnitude and the angle. So to find the magnitude of the resultant force, you square root x, the x component square plus the y component square. So this is the x component. This is the y component. You plug them into here, and you're going to get that this is equal to 1254.4. This is the magnitude. Now, the angle that they want is the one starting from the positive x-axis. So this is the angle that they want. It's pretty big. It should be between 180 and 270. First, we're going to find this angle right here between the negative x-axis and the, and the vector. To find that angle, all you got to do is the tangent inverse of the 
y component over the x component. This is the y, this is the x component, and you're going to get that that is equal to 78.7 degrees. Now, if you wanted to find this whole angle, all you got to do is add 180 degrees to this angle, which is found, and we're going to get that the angle is 258.7 degrees. Final answer. And final answer for the magnitude. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.